This is where you take over and let us know what we have in the pulse today. Remember, the pulse is in your copy of the standard. It's one of the pullouts today. So get yourself a copy of the standard and there you have the pulse. Mike, you have so much. I don't know if I have like two hours to discuss this. <laughs> Cover if cover I discuss again. this, of course, I'll, I know we won't sell the paper out there. So it's mm -hmm. one we're just giving bits for and guys to get to the streets and grab a copy of the Pulse. Of course, a free copy of the Pulse grab the uh, in the standard uh, today, as usual. And so I'm not talking about the cover, girl. I know you're looking there still, but let's move on to another page. Yes. Uh, we talked about this story some time ago. Yes. When we talked That's about um, Sarah Hazan's wedding, uh, mm -hmm. right page for the coffee break. And um, it was one of those uh, very private affairs that Kenyans uh, are still uh, talking about. And Pulse goes ahead to get a uh, behind the scenes kind of a story on what happened, what transpired before this. And so I discovered these guys were down your local yeah. a week before mm -hmm. then, yes, yes. Uh, popping stuff, yes. you know, and with our girls. And guys, it's just an entire story well broken into 10 points. That is so easy and to basically read. basically giving and, Tim yes. Mafisi evidence that it happened. It yeah. Yeah. Some were still yeah. in denial thinking it did not happen. It actually happened. Sarah Hassan is taken. Mike, the other big story that's been town and that past broke last Friday was the uh, Miss Karun story. Mm -hmm. um, and her coming back uh, to Kenya from Boston and secretly just tried to live her life. And we did suggest on Friday that she could be you know, having something going she, on. She came back carrying a bit of baggage. Yes. Mm. Mm. And now she calls it alone and, and a weight that she has been talking about. And now we have the story out. We know this uh, broke on Monday uh, uh, through our friends and through herself. And it's a big story that I think, again, every other young person who cares about pals and showbiz should be reading. Miss Karun is one person that every young person uh, uh, envied in oh, like all, all this time. And mm -hmm. her yeah, and, one. you know, her mm -hmm. band. Eric, cool, you actually know, know one of her songs. Yes. No, I'm not aged like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's, he is a talent manager. Remember her man? Oh, yeah. Yes. Many talents. Absolutely. So, yeah. so yeah. guys, that's that's Kamula for you and all that. But again, you remember last week the story about the building, and we talked about that uh, during the show. Mm. And Smita, actually Tony Moshama in his element now, goes ahead and gives us an entire and story. Of account of now bullying. a cover story of bullying, mm. and we have guys talking about really what happened, like we did here last week. Yeah. Mike and, and, so and maybe yes. just to hear from Eric, I don't know what school you went to and whether you guys were bullied, because it mm. seems like it's more widespread than uh, imagined. I mean, yes. Alliance Boys brought it to the fore, mm -hmm. but it's by no means the only school that ha you know, uh, undergoes bullying or was undergoing bullying. My mother decided that I needed to go to Nyanza and learn Luo, so I went to Mbira Boys High School. And um, we were very strict. You don't pull a lot of that nonsense in Nyanza. They'd kill you very early in the morning. <laughs> like, they used to beat us. The students you know, or the teachers? The teachers would beat you. They'd have you for lunch, breakfast, and supper. So you would not... Those things that Imnalala Kaburini... So I think there's also this turn on the corner generation mm. has a lot to contribute to it. On a ghost turn in the corner and think yeah, about yes, what you've done. Yes, yeah. We didn't have that. Mm. <laughs> they would attack you and you would leave that room knowing, I swear to God, that Mr. X was going to kill me. 